you're in a car accident or if you, you know, have a traumatic injury or, you know, anything, you, you give birth or, you know, any, any, anytime you're in a hospital, you have surgery, any of these things, almost every time they give you antibiotics. And here's the thing, like antibiotics go in there and they just kill everything. They kill good bacteria. They kill enzymes. They kill your body's defenses. Okay. And I think that most of us know that our, our immune system is almost exclusively in our gut. And it's the good bacteria that's in there that's fighting for us. So if you go in there and indiscriminately kill everything, you're handicapping yourself. You're destroying your defenses. And the bad can grow back with a vengeance, right? So let's say maybe you got really sick or, you know, with whatever disease or whatever illness or whatever infection, um, bacteria, viral, whatever, and you end up taking antibiotics because, because it's so bad. Um, so... So what happens is it goes in and it, it kills all the, the bad stuff, which is fine. I mean, you have to save your life if you have to save your life. That's, I'm not against that at all. But what happens is, is it kills, I've read that every one round of antibiotics will kill 25% of your entire microbiome. And when you understand how important your microbiome is, that's devastating to your health. And that's just one round. I mean, if you have surgery or some kind of illness, you may have three or four rounds of antibiotics before you're done. Um, so this is um, this can change everything in someone's life. It can, it can throw the entire balance of a body off, okay? And I'm not saying that you can't heal from this. I mean, of course you can, but the problem is we, we don't we don't take it into account is the thing. So like once we have antibiotics, we have to be very intentional about building our microbiome back up because that's our immune system, okay? And if we don't do that, the problem with our modern diet is it feeds the bad more than it feeds the good. So if you're eating any kind of junk food or any kind of processed food or any kind of like, you know, refined flour and all these things that we're all eating every day, I mean, it's hard to stay away from them completely, then you're you're feeding those bad bacteria and opening that door to parasites, which is mostly what I talk about on this, in this, on this channel. But, um, but gut health is our defense system against parasites and against disease and against pathogens. So we have to be so intentional about once we, if, if you've ever in your life had antibiotics, and I don't think I've ever met anybody, including myself, who hasn't, I mean, we all have had antibiotics and we're exposed to them in food and meat and that kind of stuff too. So, and I mean, even glyphosate, like a Roundup, that's, that's a type of antibiotic. It's an herbicide, but it goes in and it kills good bacteria in our gut. So we're exposed to antibiotics, whether or not we take medicine. Um, but if you take an antibiotic, like a course of antibiotics, that's like targeted a killing spree in our, in your digestive system, in your microbiome. And that, um, that can save your life. And I'm not against that, obviously. I mean, if it's going to save your life, do it. Um, but you have to be real intentional about building that stuff out back after you do something like that. So um, it, it was surprising to me to realize that, that that is really like a common thread throughout so many of the people that I talk to and that it is such a widespread trigger to disease and autoimmune issues and other problems, chronic problems that we have in our lives. So